Bro, I played this guy before. He comes out and he throws the ball in the coverage every snap. I played him before. You said out? I don't know. Should you max out? Bro, I... I I, I didn't max out um, the pass defense because I don't need the man coverage or whatever. I only maxed out pass D, bro. I mean Madden passing. Madden passing. I didn't max out Madden pass D. He's tier one. All right, let me see. Let me see what this guy's doing. Let me let me focus on this idiot. All right, so we got Franco Harris there. So we're gonna put JJ Watt as a blocker. Franco Harris there. Kittle and Bits right there. Kevin Johnson there. Bro, what? The bro, D up, D up, D up, bro. All right, good job, man. Good job, Ricky. Good job, good job, Ricky. That that's bro. Like this this dude, Ricky, dog. Like I. I want to get rid of him, bro, but but why though? Why would I get rid of him? You see what I'm saying? Like that's the that's the issue that I'm having. I want to get rid of him, but you know what I'm saying? Like why why would I get rid of him though? That that's the thing, bro. Like it's just why it's just a wild situation. He's oh he's really he's really running three three five, thinking he raw too. He really running three three five. Oh he just ran right. Okay. All right. It, it's it's no way. It's no way possible, man. No way, it's no way possible that this guy thinks he's going to be able to get away with this. No way possible. I refuse to believe... Bruh. The, the running back was wide open, though. He's not sending it. Okay. The next time I... Okay, I got to change it my own. What? Hey, Levinsky, what are you... T why are you going to the courthouse talking about you're always nervous? What? Bro, that's not a good look. What you, what you doing, bruh? Yo, yo, what's good, bro? All right, I'm going to I'm gonna let the stream know um, who you are, and then we're going to talk some Madden. We're going to see if you garbage or not, all right? All right, bro, don't worry. Uh, bro, I got to let you know. Uh, bro, I'm, I'm briefing you before I put you on speaker, bro. You garbage. We're going to talk about that later, though. All right, you ready or nah? All right, all right, all right. Let me tell the stream. All right, stream, we got a special guest. Right now, that's joining us, bro. You guys might have seen him on First Take, um, various other shows that you've been on overall. But most, for mostly, you've been you played in the NBA for ten years. We got Ryan Hollins, like bro, calling in to talk Madden. Um, he's a dude that thinks he's raw. We gonna talk to him about some of the stuff that you know affects us. I'm gonna be taking some of you guys' questions. Um, obviously, he doesn't have to answer all of them. But uh, I, first of all, we, we want to give out your handles. You're the Ryan Hollins on Twitter, and then you're Ryan Hollins everywhere else. Correct. Hey man, you've been keeping up, bro. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, bro. All right, bro. So, all right, so, bro hey, look, we need those. We need those follows, bro. All right, bro. We gonna get, bro. bro they, they, they going to follow you right now, dog. But what I'm saying is, hey, you too, bro. They bro, follow you on Twitter, dog. I'm disappointed, dog. Bro, who, bro? I'm getting, bro. I'm getting dotted right now in the middle of a stream, bro. Like, yo, hey, hold on. All right, so listen. Like, like, first things first, dog. Like, are you a bum at Madden or not? Nah? been the top 100 player for years this year's Madden I, I cannot figure out the offense dog the randomness of the game is killing you this new patch update though the blue might be back because it's something everybody's complaining about dog but it made the game more realistic see before when a guy that had a hundred pound weight difference would hit a guy smaller he would stand him up bro I could have Eddie George hit Deion Sanders, and Deion Sanders will stand him up. Now, Deion Sanders is getting laid on his behind, dog. So, the fact that these big running backs and these big wide receivers hitting these smaller guys is about to be a factor. Okay, so so you so you enjoy you enjoy the uh, the Madden patch right now. Is that what you're saying? You said I enjoy what? You enjoy the Madden patch? Are you enjoying it right now? Yeah, yeah, dog. I, I live 
for Madden, bro. I don't think you understand this. No, no, no. I, look, what what I understand is that you're a terrible Madden oh, player. Oh, the patch? Oh, oh, yeah, you said the patch. <laughs> for right now, yes. For right now, yes. Until something wild starts happening. But, like, just the fact that I see, like, Eddie George, bro, and J.J. Watt's big, these big running backs, Fortnite, like, they should be falling forward, bro. Ricky Williams is, like, 190 pounds, dog. So the fact that these guys are actually moving forward, that's a big factor. The only thing they did, they changed the aggressive catch a little bit. I was throwing the ball yesterday, and the thing was humming right out of bounds. Like, I think they nerfed that you may have to do it the just the, the, the trusting way now. But, like, as far as this run block, bro, and Kittle, Kittle at wide receiver, it's a problem, dog. Oh, okay, but, okay, so let's – okay, so, so, pretty, so pretty much what you're saying is at this point right now, because a lot of people – have been ha they've been getting complaints about the fact that dudes are falling forward, even the quarterbacks when they're getting sacked. You haven't had that happen to you yet. Not necessarily quarterbacks. I've just seen it from my end, really. Um, okay, hold on. Let me let me first, let, let me let me let me because you're gonna be talking Madden, so I'm I'm gonna tweet it. You could go ahead and retweet it, bro. Yeah, bro. So that we could go ahead and um because I, I need everybody to hear what you're saying about because you, you're a terrible Madden player, and I just want I want them to hear your insight. Hold up, no, bro, bro, bro. I'm just, I'm just keeping, it, I'm just, I'm just keeping it real because you, you, you're saying pointers, but I want people to hear it because I think personally you're a terrible Madden player, but that's just my personal opinion. I would love to go you, but I want the stream to ban me, dog. Nah, bro, you won't get banned in my stream, dog. Listen, bro, you, you. I want to say something wild right now, but these dudes, these dudes will definitely hurt your Bro, they probably would, bro. They pro, they, they probably would ban you, bro. But like, I, I gotta authorize it, dog, and. Like you a bum dog, but you but you my you my dog though, so they're not gonna ban you. You good, bro? Bro, you good? Listen, bro. bro, you good? Listen, I'm telling you right now, you garbage, but you good though. Okay, let me just put that. All right, look, just be ready to retweet this right quick. Hold up, talking Madden 19 patch. All right, there we go. All right, so we tweeting it out. All right, it's tweeted out. Retweet it so they can know that it's you. And then now we could we could do business. So everybody comes in the stream. And I, I look, you know what's you know what's key about this. Your pointers that you're making right now about the weight being a factor, that might be huge. But because you're a terrible Madden player, it might not go the same way. You see what I'm saying? I might not be a terrible Madden player after a patch. Now, now, listen, my defense is elite. My defense is elite. My offense just ends up being so bad, no completion, no rush yards. Like, listen, cross manning is a factor. I need them to take it up the game. Literally, your defense becomes unstoppable. If it comes to a cross man, straight up, you hit a, a dude in the backfield with 99 uh, man coverage, and you can cross man, and you can literally stop any defense because you can blitz and send heat. Now it's a guessing game, dog. At some point, your guys are going to get block shattered and sacked. It's just, it, it's too overpowered. It's disgusting, and it stops the run. Come on. Bro. Okay, so you, so you, so okay, so you have an issue. Go ahead. You, you, you have an issue with cross manning. You don't think that it makes the game realistic? It's OP, bro. Because what happens when you cross, man, they take a step immediately in to stop the run. So now it stops the run and it stops runs. When you cross, man, with the safety, it's, 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 it's out of control. It's, it's literally, it's way too much. And then you're getting block shuttered out of the nickel over G. It's too much, dog. So that nickel <laughs> over G and the nickel 335 is still working. But the fact that you can't run at it is a problem. So now these dudes have to fall forward because they're getting... Somehow, one of these dudes is not getting touched by your blockers, and then they're getting the and the, uh, they're getting in and stopping the run. It's disgusting, dog. Okay, so what? What? Okay, what would what would you recommend? Because I I don't really see how they can they can fix that at this point with the way because I think they took it out earlier in the year and then with the first patch it came back. So you, what you're saying is for Madden 20, you don't want to see cross manning being a thing. So I remember we used to cross man. And let's say your guy's on the crosser. Your your uh, wide receiver is good enough would outrun that coverage and get the catch. Or I felt every time someone crossed man, it opened up a gap in the run, and you could run behind that space. See, to me, that's rock, paper, scissors. That's chess. You're playing chess right now, move for a move, and then you can run into that gap. Now this dude charges the line, so... It's, it's very, very unrealistic. Like, it's something they, they have to take it out. Like, they have to fix it. It's OP, okay, dog. I don't cross man. I mean, I don't cross man. I said personally, but, like, I can see a bum just cross man every 
to play. To me, I don't feel like taking the time to, to you know, worry and guard all the, all the people over and over and over again. But I'm a cross man every time. Like, it's out of control. Okay, so okay, so re- out of ha- have you have you tried to cross man opponents at all? I have, and I've been very successful, like making dudes like throw their Xbox. The, the control <laughs> the street, dog. You get those immediate quits because what happens is Madden is a game of momentum. So if you play Madden, you gotta understand, bro. You gotta get either five passes in a row, you know, rush for a first down. It's funny you, we we play those solo battles, and those solo battles give you. Little, little initiative, little momentum boost. And when that momentum starts to sway the wrong way, it starts getting disgusting. You start getting fumbles, picks, interceptions. The game gets wild. So you stopping a guy three or four times in a row is a big, big factor in the game. That's why you always run the ball to neutralize the ball. So for those of you who just pass the ball all the time, which is myself, it, it, this is out of ignorance. <laughs> Interception or, or a pass that doesn't work, you have to run the ball and it kind of resets the the momentum. So, so that's the thing, though. The momentum starts to get OD. OD or the momentum goes too far in one way and you literally cannot come back from it. Okay, so, all right. So, uh, for, from from the beginning of the year, I'm assuming that you've been playing Madden since the beginning of the year. Um, how do you think the patches have influenced it up until this point where we are now? So, real talk, this is what I hate. So, at the beginning of the year, the offense was popping. You were spinning. They were holding blocks. Receivers were blocking downfield. And they had seemed to fix the logic, you know what I'm saying, with the lead block, lead block rating. Now, they're slowly but surely catch juices the defense. They just try to take out that 3 3 5 eye blitz. And, obviously, they had to work on the, uh, the nickel over G. But, ultimately, the defense is getting more and more overpowered. And, obviously, you can call it offensive exploits, but they've taken the run out of the game, like, like what? Like, just mad. Like, you know it. Like, you have to do so much. You used to be able to run the football now. Where, obviously, everybody hated the inside zone bums, bums because they, they, they would go off and they would just run it all game long. But you low-key, you have to be able to run inside zone so these cats can't blitz you all the time. Like, it's a discipline thing, but now you can't do it because the block shedding is OD. <laughs> so, okay, so, so ultimately right now, where we stand, you're telling me right now that you enjoy... The most recent patch because now weight is a factor. Absolutely. It's the best thing, bro. If I throw JJ Watt in there or Eddie George and they hit a guy that they weigh 50 pounds more than, they're with the full head of steam, they're going to fall forward. That is realistic. Deion Sanders is not going to stand up at George with a running start. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like Deion is going to corral him and make sure he gets down and these dudes are getting stopped for no yards. So, like, bro, if I'm not mistaken, any back that had some size or was a trucking back, they were completely irrelevant. They were literally irrelevant. Like, like this balances the game out. All right, so so you're promoting for, for, for the viewers in the chat right now to go and get bigger backs? I'm going bigger. I would go bigger backs, and then you can get out of gun formation. And now, at least, you should, you should be, it's not going to be great, but you should be a little decent. Um, against these three three five sets because it is the nickel over G because it's out of control. <laughs> hey, hey bro, you'll run inside zone. They'll be a nickel over G because they're man assigned. You'll run up the middle and there's a big gap in the middle. So you're reading the rough the, the correct way. And these dudes somehow avoid the blocker and catch you in the backfield and you get, you know, two yards at that. It's not realistic. Okay, so wait a minute. So so following the run fit. That might be an issue because it sounds like you're 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 wanting Madden to be realistic. That might be an issue. Hey, it, I'm just saying, bro. It, listen. Okay. Listen. A video game is a video game. Okay. Say, take out the take out the CPU skill. Go back to user like it used to be. And and ultimately, if we're doing all these weight mechanics and all this, let it stick your work, bro. Like let it work. Like let it work. Like everybody's individual style should be able to. Flourish. If you're a guy who wants to spin with Chris Johnson and, and Ricky and spin with McCaffrey, spin. If you're a guy who wants to run down here with a big bat, like, I want the offense to be gas rather than the defense. Like, I don't care. Like, pick your poison now. But, like, there should be an answer for every answer. And there, there was literally no answer for Curtis Manning or this 3 3 5. All right, but what? Like, but, 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 you make one or two adjustments after 3 3 5 right now, regular, and you're a bump. You're done. There's nothing no 
nobody can do, dog. Okay, okay but... Run under center. Yeah, but, but the, the issue with the cross manning, I know it's OP, but most people... Well, not most people, but I would just say that you're a bum because you can't, you know, maneuver around it. What, what, what do you think about that? No, dog. No? no? When you play against... I, I will tell you, for one, I play your first and second tier elite, dog, whether you want to acknowledge my credits or not, dog. And when you <laughs> play somebody who's really good at it and they're blitzing you and they're sending heat and then they're cross manning and you got a one-on-one -on -one matchup and you can't go out that one-on-one -on -one matchup because it's so... It's like your guy's literally eliminated from the route, dog. <laughs> like, yeah. eliminated <laughs> from the route. Like, like you're, o you're OP. You're done, and in, in a one or two possession game, like you're not gonna win. And like the reason I'm not gonna say I'm great right now, because listen, I'm smacking around ninety percent of the people that I'm playing. Okay, let's let's, let's get that on. I'm only playing against upper tier players. Like like it's just it's OP, man. There's nothing that you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? No, no, it, it is because I play against people that that cross man, and I win. It just seems like you're making excuses for being a terrible Madden player. I'm just going based on this, what this you're is, saying. Okay. Okay, let me ask you this though. Okay. Let me ask you this though, bro. Okay. You're a guy who, who can air it out. You you aggressive kind of rocket rock catch. You used to do all that stuff, and now your your offense is limited to literally running out of the eye form. You know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna do what you have to do to win. Like, yeah. That's the way you win. Yeah. Like, I respect that. So you're getting people out of those sets, and then you know you try to expose them over the top. But to me, that's the dumbest, most simple way of playing Madden. But, like, it's forcing you to play like that. Like, bro, when you get under the gun, when you get under gun, and you got to follow a user or put some complex rounds together, that's, that's real mathematics right there. But to me, it takes the it, – it makes the game more simple than it ever should be, and it overpowers these passing defenses. You know what I'm saying? No, no, you make sense. But what I'm saying is, when was the last time that Madden actually did anything that you're saying right now, just realistically? It's trended in – I mean, the last – I was currently from the last three or four years. I'm not going to say no names over at EA, bro. But I had a conversation with somebody when they implemented this new aggressive catch, possession catch. So when I said, how are you going to determine the type of catch I can do or can't do? And then when they said, as soon as your receiver catches the ball, it's going to go to random percentages. And as you catch, it's going to be like rolling dice whether you catch or not and you can't control the animation. That's the stupidest thing in the world. Because Madden, to me, is always the difference between the elite players and the bums with stick skill. My stick skill will win games. We can run the same Z spot. But I'm usually catching my Z spot and, you know, slide, do this side, swerve, catch, and do whatever I need to do on my Z spot because I practice my stick skill and that made me better than you. So the fact that they take that out the game or interception wise, I'm clicking on straight feet. Running around and then intercepting it, like you take that out of the game, dog. Like, like that was horrible. Our new man was on the decline since then, and it has been. Remember three or four years ago when Seattle guys would just come out and run cover three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 okay. Yeah, bro, I, I agree with you, but but what I'm saying is, as far as the way that, because remember, we we pretty much love Madden, so it doesn't matter what they do, we're gonna still play it. In your opinion, what the things that you want to take out? You, I, I hope you realize that a lot of the things that have been trending from it is is stemmed from the patch in Madden 16. I'm not sure if you're aware of that situation or how that worked out, but they tried to fix things in Madden 16, and the patch is still remnants of that patch when you can't beat somebody deep, the zones like wiggle around, a lot of weird things happen. Um, do you think that that's something that's an easy fix or that is something that we're going to have to deal with for years to come? Slowly but surely you bring it back. Um, or like just something simple to me, dog. Like to me, just everything is getting nerfed, and that's a problem. Like last year, remember to start this year, the run was going bananas, and I wasn't even mad at that. I didn't like that. You know, I would be playing a close game, and a dude breaks off a run to the house, and he'll literally beat me by that. But like, I just felt <laughs> like, hey, I could spin somebody, I could run. It was an exciting thing. Like you never know quite what's gonna happen. Like, and I get it. Man doesn't want guys to come out just running goal line all day long and then and then run against you. But they're like I said, you should be playing chess right now. There's an answer for every answer. You know what I'm saying? And some of these some of these formations end up OP, but there should be always an answer or a counter for it. And I know one thing Man implemented was was coming out and running 
uh, and, and I guess the side, the pancake blocks, the chances to run quarters against the run and really stop the run. So they nerfed that. But it, somehow it seems to be back with the nickel. Like, I, I just think as long as there's an answer for every answer, now you beat somebody in the chess match rather than, you know, playing checkers, rather than playing tic-tac-toe. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Madden has to bring back that, they, that they've really gotten away from. It. If they have to dumb it down, the, the formula, go ahead and do it. But, you know, they just go too far in certain ways. And then taking user skill out, like, like dog, if you're not good, you're not good. Like, I just, I hate, I hate that. I can never be okay with user skill not being in the game. Okay, so the user skill situation, like right now, because I don't know if you remember, but in 16, they completely took it away from the game. In 17, they brought it back a little bit, but you were able to get mossed. In 18, it was a toss-up. 19 right now is pretty much there. Can you get mossed? Yeah, but it's not the way that it was uh, prior to that. Do you think that the reason that it's dumbed down is simply because sales? 100%. 100%. But to me, like, give those bumps franchise mode. If you're a bum, go play franchise. Go play arcade. Go play your solos. You know what I'm saying? Like, why did you? Why does that come onto the competitive scene? That's the oh. problem. You okay. feel me? Okay. Like, oh. like, I thought that was the whole idea of arcade mode and competitive mode. Where competitive mode, should, that should benefit the guys who play user skill. And if you want to play arcade, bro, go play arcade. You're like, if that's what you want, go play arcade. But don't ruin the user skill. Okay, so so pretty so pretty much what you're saying is that if you play solos or franchise, you're a bum. Well, you just might not have the stick skill because we're talking about sales, bro. So don't do that. Don't do that to the listeners, bro. <laughs> don't do that to the listeners, dog. Dog. I want to just call you a person. It would be called you a real person, bro. Listen, <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> do not do that to me and the listeners, bro. That's not what we're doing right now. Okay, so 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 what? So okay, so you have an issue with the fact that they've nerfed user, they've nerfed the ability for you to have to make actual reads and to look at the field and know that okay, this guy's in a two man under. I could run a slant and it's always open. You don't like a lot of the stuff that's been mechanically changed because you think that they've dumbed it down too much. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Dumbed it down too much, dog. And if they listen, if they, if they, if they, if they had a problem with sales. Let these people play arcade. You know, let them play the, 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 the duo mode or whatever, the little friendly mode. Like, don't take it into competitive, bruh. Let competitive be competitive. Well, bruh, if you want to stop the run, your user needs to give them gaps. You know what I'm saying? Like, like your user needs to stop the run. Like, like bring that back. And, and granted, the user, user kind of does, but it's not like before. Where, where a guy used to really have to get in and make the tackle himself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but but okay, but but like I said, okay, you, I, I got a really really good question for you. Uh, do you watch uh, Madden competitively right now? Do you watch some of the shows? I do, I do, and you know what? A couple of the pros they do know how to how to use their skill and manipulate some of the stuff. I have seen it, but it's it's a, it's at such a minute level. Like you're talking about guys playing Madden literally twelve hours a day in practice mode. And then they find out how to do one thing, bro. Like, that's, that's out of control. And then at some point, they, 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 they take it out the game. But they're literally, they're literally labbing to a, I mean, they're psychos, bro. We're talking psychos. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be labbing like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, but that's what I'm saying. Uh, I, got a, I got a very, very interesting question. Do you think that most of the people that are competing right now would have been able to compete prior to 16? Yes and no. Yes, the main guys is the psychos. But you see the couple guys that get on, and you're like, what the heck? Or like, or they don't belong, bro. They just don't belong. They just happen. The randomness of the game actually has them beat better players. And for me, that it tells you how bad of a game is. And then they get to a championship, and they're losing 40 to nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know if you remember a couple of years back with the draft champions version. A dude was running draft champions because he accidentally got the squad that was so much better than everybody else's, bro. His squad was so nice, and then Matt finally realizes now we gotta, we gotta even out the draft champions pool because he happened to just get all the best cards, and my man was just winning because he was getting, 
he was getting pancake blocks, block sheds. Like, there was nothing you could do. Like, he just happened to, like, have a better draw. So, like, there's so much they have to fix. But I think just the level of guys that, that actually kind of make it through, and you look at them and you know, like, bro, he's not that nice, dog. He just happened to get a good team or just the randomness of the game let him do what he was doing, you know? Okay, so 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 pretty much what you're saying is, like, the, the, the old school dogs that used to play, they – most of them no longer play. Like, the only name that comes to mind is probably Problem Right from, like, the old school that you probably hear. But most of the other guys that used to play, they no longer play. Why do you think that is? Because the same reason we said, bro. Like, Problem is an OG. And Problem, I tell you, I don't, he don't like the game. Like, he tries to run, motion, motion these guys, do all that stuff. And it's just like the, the randomness, dog. The randomness of killing guys like problems, killing guys like you would be like, like it was a real problem. Bro, I was ranked number seven. I would say back in Madden, uh, this was a, all the way back when the Raiders had McFadden. I was seven in a row, bro. So, like, I've been, I've been ranked. I was 30 in the head last year. Like, just, just, but the game and inconsistencies, bro, it trends so different. Obviously, I'm probably like 180 right now and my, my squad, so I don't, I don't even care about a butt. Like, I don't know how they run the butt. Is it not land or what? Because everybody somehow seems to different. But to me, it, it just, there's a lot of there's a lot of issues, dog. Or like, it, it, it says a lot that you're going away from the purest and these, these new guys are going or that the gun bunch is so OP that, that cats are just running this and winning the championship year in and year out. Like, I shouldn't see Gun Bunch, bro. I should not see Gun Bunch winning the Madden Challenge. Years and years and years and years. Okay, so, okay, okay, but, 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 but why? Why? Why, why shouldn't, why, why shouldn't, why shouldn't they be winning? It takes out, it takes out the purity of the game, dog. It takes out the purity of the game. And there is an element of being able to run the ball. There is an element of, of and I get it, guys get, guys get older, so this is a day why a guy who's in his 20s can't, de, de, uh, you know, devote the same hours and time to Madden um, because he's now 30 or 40 years old now, but it's, it's, it just, it shouldn't be, bro. It shouldn't be. It allows such a randomness. It's literally a different game, dog. It's a different game, so now you start playing by different rules, dog. I, I, I'm never going to be okay with the user skill not being in the game, bro. Never. Never. Okay, so so you okay, so so pretty much what you're saying, because like I've seen some of your gameplay. Um, I've seen and I like I said, I, I got to be honest with you. I I can't lie to the viewers. I can't say anything that's gonna make it seem like I'm trying to like you know make you seem like you're better than you are. I think personally you're a trash can. So when you talk about your you know when you talk about your user skill, when you say user, when you have to rank your user, where where are you as a user? Like like if I was playing you in like say Madden 25. And I was throwing right at you. You know, because in Madden 25, a lot of people don't realize the swerve was in the game, but defensively you could defend it because you had good user. Would you be able to pretty much lock me up if I'm going going right at your user? Yeah, I'm on your head. Okay, I'm so... I'm absolutely on your head. I'm absolutely on your head. And I was a guy. I, I know all the sweet players. So I would get the dude that... You know, the, the Rashawn Pyramids, or even before that, they were like, I had McFadden oh, playing wide receiver. Like, like I had, well, I would use people, bro, ask for Lee if we want to go all the way back in Denver. Like, I would go get the Swerve guy with no ratings, that's okay. 6 2 and up with a 96 speed, and, and get on your head. Okay, okay, so, you know so, all right, so look, so pretty much. Yeah, I'm, I'm beating that up. I'm beating that up, bro. If you're trying to Swerve catch me, I'm beating that up, dog. All right, I so. Strafing and interception, intercepting that dog. All right, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Like, based on everything that you're saying, it seems like we're gonna have to arrange a game because I think that, like, when it comes to being like a terrible player, I think that you're right up there. Um, so I would have to actually accept, like, we we would have to let the world see just how bad you really are. Dog, you're a terrible person, dog. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat you <laughs> over the head. <laughs> I'm going to beat you over the head, dog. I'm going to beat you over the head. Bruh, listen, because what, what I'm saying is, like, you have a lot of insight, and I'm, I'm surprised that you have so much insight because when you were talking about being ranked that high, you were actively playing in the NBA, weren't you? Yeah. 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 Well, so, you know, well, I mean, when we go all the way back to the Raiders, I was in college. I was in college then. 
Okay. But, but yeah, through my years in the NBA, I've, all, I've always played. See, this is the like the quirky thing about being an NBA athlete. Like, I have a lot of time, but I don't have a lot of time. So, like, I'll be in the middle of Milwaukee with nothing else to do because I just finished, uh, what, four-hour practice and I have 20 hours left in the day. So I'm sitting there playing Madden. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm on the sticks, bro, where I don't have time because, hey, if you say, hey, Ryan, let's go to dinner, let's go do something, I'm flying out city to city. But the one consistency I always had was Madden. Or, like, I mean, just straight up, like, you stay off the streets with Madden, bro. Like, that saved a couple cats' lives. Like, no, I agree. I'm going to be playing video games and getting it into the club. So I, I just say as far as the competitive scene, like, I've always put in a crazy amount of hours into the game just because. All right, so okay, so you okay, so you're pretty knowledgeable when it comes to it. Like I said, um, the only like I said, I I hear you, bro, but like just just the way that I I just hear it in your voice that you're a terrible player. So we're gonna have to we, we need to get something together to where we can get that done, because like you're not you're not convincing me at all that you're a good player. Um, in all honesty, I think that when when it comes like to the lower level Madden players, I think you're right there. You know what I'm saying? Like I think you're like right below that that worst player. So you know. Going forward, we I think we need to arrange something to where we could actually see you on the sticks. Is that something you'd be interested in, or or like what are we doing here? Well, I get a PlayStation. I'm gonna beat your face in, bro. Okay, bro. What I'm saying is, beat your face in, dog. Okay, bro, bro. But we're gonna arrange it. We're gonna arrange it. No, it's happening. Okay, but but this is what I'm saying. What what I'm trying to figure out. Like I'm just saying. I'm giving you my honest opinion. You know how we roll, bro. We tell each other the truth. I'm just saying. Like you you are terrible. I think you're terrible at the game, but that's not what this is about. This is about arranging, you know, you know what I'm saying, bro, you know what I'm saying, bro, like, that's not what any of this is about. Okay, okay, here's the reality, bro. I'm going to get a PlayStation, but I'm going to need some help, bro, because if I switch over a mutt, I, I may have spent, like, $20 million on my mutt. <laughs> like, I'm not spending real money, like, I'm, I'm no money spent, I probably spent, like, 15 bucks. On getting the 91 overall and the button is like when they pop out, like I think it makes sense. All right, I'm not spending five dollars on like their 800 training points. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm no money spent, bro. So like, I would have to literally sacrifice hours, but I would need help. I would need funds to get my squad back where it should be, and I'm beating your head in. All right, so look, you know, you know, you know what, bro? You, you, bro, you got a lot of excuses, and I appreciate that, bro. I'm just trying, like I said, whatever you would need help with. As far as like you know, get you like getting acclimated to PlayStation. No, bro, you garbage, dog. Like it's not an issue. You see what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, you can make any make as many excuses as you want. Ultimately, what I'm saying is you're a terrible player. You see what I'm saying? And I understand that you vested a lot of time in Xbox and all that stuff like that. But I'm just I'm just being honest with you. I think you're an absolutely terrible player. So wh whatever we have to do, you know, obviously we're gonna do it to get it to get it popping. But um. I think you're a horrible person though no but that's a, but that's a, a horrible person though bro look let's bro look it, it is what it is dog like look i'm not gonna sit up here and set trip and say that i don't think you suck at madden so you gotta say what you gotta say about me bro like but i can't sugarcoat it like if you want to get sugarcoated you gotta do something else I, I gotta let you know like i think your game i think your madden game you don't you ever seen that dave Chappelle where they had like the melted snicker bar and it was doo-doo dog like that's your game bro like th th that's what it is so i can't i can't like make it look like oh bro you know what i'm saying like Yo, yo, it's, it's, it's Ryan Hollins. He's raw. Like, I got to let you know that you're a terrible Madden player just off rip. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just so that everybody knows. Like, yo, oh, my God. He threw it right in the traffic and caught the... Bro, this get... Yo, look at that. Th bro, all right, man. Yo, this... Th bro, I can't... I, this game sucks, man. And by the way, footsteps is on that player. Footsteps don't work, bro. Yo, this game is so bad. So what doesn't work? Footsteps, bro. Like, this game is so bad. He just threw the ball right in the traffic. Oh, my I God, bro. Never, never in my life, never in my life have I literally uttered the words, I hate Madden, in several times over again. Like, I've been mad at stuff that happens, but I've never been like, I hate Madden. Like, I literally hate, I, it makes me say, like, I hate Madden. I've never felt that way in my life, bro. And that's just like a... It's not even an emotion. It's like a, it's like an instinct, like a real natural, like I hate Madden. But I've never said that before, and I say that all the time, dog. Bro, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this right now. The thing that this guy just did, like, it's so unacceptable. It's not even a game, dog. Like, this dude threw the ball right where I knew he was gonna throw it, and I had the defense right there, and he still threw the ball right there. You're garbage, though. That just goes in. You're 
trash, bro. No, but bro, that, listen. That has nothing to do with what he did. You're trash. No, no, bro. Listen, I agree with you. I'm not. I'm not gonna debate it. I'm just saying, like, bro, he just oh, threw the. Wait, did you just say you're trash? Yeah, yeah. That's what. Yeah, yeah. Bro, okay. and, bro, but look, you gotta understand what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm trashing the game that doesn't make any sense, though. Uh, you see what I'm saying, bro? Like th this game is not a logical game. Like I'm gonna be honest with you. You know how hard it has to be. Like I'm telling you that you're trash. You know you're trash, but you might end up doing something because the game's that bad. You see okay, what I'm saying? Here, okay, okay, here's this though, here's this though. And this is another reason why I said to try. I will literally out scheme somebody. Flood concept, drag, post, over, under, blitz, sit on their stuff, know their plays before they run their play, and they lose to a dude who randomly spun you out of level sale to the house. This, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Look, listen, 